What saith you? We're talking about two sun knives today. You like the TS-25? And the only way I can remember it is... Ah, whatever. Got this one on eBay. I want it. So, if you're the person that I outbid at the last, you know, microsecond, it's called get yourself some, you know, one of those sniper softwares and go after it, buddy. That's the way I got this one. I ain't staying up till 1 o'clock in the morning. I'll wake up in the morning, see if I want it or not. So, I think I got this little puppy for a... Yeah, I didn't steal it for 39 bucks. Let's put it that way. I think I paid me about 65, 66 bucks on this thing. So, yeah, which I don't think is a bad deal. I mean, you got a nice satin grind D2 steel blade. You got carbon fiber inlays on your titanium frame lock scales. Did we cover the whole knife? Are we done now? Are we done? There's your backspacer. Another titanium beauty and pocket clip. Another titanium uh, wonder. You know, that pocket clip looks familiar. I wonder if they're doing renditions over and over again. Night morning design. Interesting blade. You think piercing? You think slicing? Nice high grind there? Yeah. I mean, we st really... I mean, I can't lose the oil. These things come in a 55-gallon drum of oil. You got to fish the knife out of it. Yeah, about. Just about. Um, yeah, here. Right across there. Nice lines. Isn't that interesting? Kind of like a, a ship sailing across the sea, right? There's your bottom of your boat. There's the top deck. You're in good shape. You got jimping on the flipper tab. You got jimping also on the top right up here, which is totally mm, pretty much ineffective. Pretty much ineffective. It's starting to grab my callus as I say that, right? Yeah, it's not much, but I guess if you really push your, your flesh into that, yeah, you'll catch some. You'll catch some. Um, yeah, and jimping on the flipper tab, and they, you know, milled out the out the middle of it, uh, you know, there's some machine work on here. You've got a nicely uh, machined, nice kind of fairly thick titanium scales on here. It's comfortable and it's easy to disengage even though they don't give you a big huge pass through. But these are kind of fat little scales and you can see that they have the the hardened steel insert in here inter interfacing with the D2 blade um, and carbon fiber inlays on the front and and on the back to make it symmetrical in design. Wow. 65 pestoles. Whew. I mean, you know, you just reiterate what those guys say on comments on my on my videos all the time. It's kind of like it's just amazing uh, the kind of value you're getting for 65 70 bucks or whatever. You know, whatever it is, the knife that I got. And, you know, just a lot of the other knives in the marketplace and some of the standard, standard, you know, well-known brands. They put out a knife and they put out a little carbon fiber on the front, this and that, and they want 200 bucks for it. And you're just going, wow. You know, but you, as a consumer, you're a winner. If you want to get into knives like this, I think you'll see. Uh, these are ceramic, and they say KVT, but I mean, they're ceramic bearings on the pivot, ceramic detent ball. Last I opened one up, I didn't take this one apart. I haven't. So, ain't got that to show you there. Uh, you know, since I guess they did this, they didn't uh, weight relieve inside. Because, of course, they've already milled these areas out, machined them out to put these inserts in. And the inserts are above grade. Okay, they are above grade here. So, it and they are not a glossy type of carbon fiber here. They're real 
textured. So it gives you some grip. You can see how the carbon fiber here kind of acts as a bit of an over travel stop. I think it probably has an over travel stop in it, which I can't, I can't tell too much from here. Um, maybe not. No, I don't see one in there. I see the insert, but so I guess that does act as the over travel, which is fine. Nice action on it. Everything mates up really good. Fit and finish is good on this knife. Let's compare it to something that you might have in your drawer. As far as like the paramilitary two, this is a smaller knife. It's a smaller knife than the para two. I think you'll see even more discrepancy here on this uh, aspect ratio. See that? Uh, so it is, a, it's not a huge Mongo type knife. Three and three eighths. So the blade length, not all that much shorter than the paramilitary. Overall, not quite eight inches. So it's about maybe three eighths of an inch shorter than the para two and right at uh, 20 centimeters. So here, maybe not quite 90 millimeters, but it's getting to 87, somewhere in there, millimeters. It's, you know what, this thing feels fat this way. Let's find out how fat it is, because it does kind of feel fat. And let's try and get away from the pocket clip. 0.57, so it is kind of a chunk of change there. 14.5. And this is 3.6 millimeter blade at 0.14. So, yeah. You know, I mean, this is a 0.46. So this is a lot wider in the hand than that is. And it feels good in the hand. The ergos are good. Mr. Night Morning Design did a good job here with the ergos. Got kind of this little area down here. Cut away. Everything fits up. Reverse grip. Feels good too. Feels good too. And you've got a bit of a choil here. So for sharpening. This little cutaways here. These little three slots cut at the top of the blade. Which gives it some style there, doesn't it? Doesn't have a lanyard hole. Don't know that I need one. I mean, that's probably one of the least of my concerns on a knife is a lanyard hole. So, hmm. But it's interesting they didn't do that. But it's basically a standard EDC size knife. What do you think it weighs? What do you think? Uh, let's find out. Guesses anybody? I'm going to say... Close to five ounces. I mean, it feels pretty good right there. So I don't know. Wow, I'm way off. 4.1 ounces. Wow, I'm surprised. It feels significant. 117 grams. Man, I'm kind of surprised. Really am. So just a little over four ounces. Not that heavy. Not that heavy at all. You think the knife will be a knife? Man, I'll tell you what. These things usually come out pretty sharp when you get these Tucson knives. How many thousand people have bought Tucson knives off that eBay thing? I mean, there must be thousands of people who have bought these. I mean, that guy's got, what, 20-some thousand, like, transactions? And he's just one of, like, several that are selling the Tucson knives. So, oh my God, there's a lot of people bought these puppies. A lot of people. And they are, they're good knives. They're really good for the money, you know? And when a new one comes out, they get bit up, bit up, bit up. And then, then they kind of cool off a little and you might go in and sneak one out for a pretty dang good price. And then 
boom, they're gone. So if you wait too long, it's not even on eBay anymore. And don't even know if you can go to DHgate or AliExpress and get one. It's strange. There's some of the some models that I would have liked to got, and I waited too long, and it wasn't even there. So don't wait too long if it's something you really, really spy you want. Interesting. But yeah, this is really smooth. I don't have a metallic feel or anything. I mean, these, this thing is really smooth. This one is smooth. It doesn't, it doesn't have a real guillotine drop to it. Kind of got to shake it down. Detent, eh, it's about par for the course for these knives. It's about a, a five right in there. But you know, it's fairly snappy. Yeah, I can fail it. You know, if you try to fail it, you can fail it. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I guess if you push button it, you might you might fail it that way anyhow, because as the blade rotates around, it's gonna hit you right in the finger. So, you know, you're almost forced into if you're gonna push button it, you're gonna lay back a little bit, let your finger kinda kinda kick back just a bit. Otherwise, light switch you know get yourself way back there and it'll kick hard but push button if you don't move it's not gonna work push button if you let your finger just kind of kick back a little bit you'll be okay interesting i like it ts25 two sun knives comes in their <laughs> standard beater box um you know little bit of plastic wrap and inside that five gallon drum of oil oh my god it's just they are slathered up usually but that's okay at least they ain't gonna rust it's d2 steel and you know god only knows how long they sit before they ship or in transit or whatever so it takes about oh it takes about two weeks to get it once you get it on uh, ebay so sometimes a little quicker but you can almost count you know, count on two weeks and it'll be there. I mean, just as regular as a clock, these things show up uh, when I bought them and I bought me a few. So I'm going to leave you alone. We got Flanagan. We got F Finian. Not Flanagan 2, but Finian. Finian 1, I guess. He come over to visit. I don't know. I think he might stick around. In any case, Hey guys, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.